Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York. It is Monday, June 20th, 2016. And we are looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average closing up in triple digits, up 129 points to close at 17,804. Now it did flirt in terms of the high, just about 50 points shy of that elusive 1,800. Did not sustain those highs on the day, but we are seeing somewhat of a relief rally as the thought now is that it is less likely that Britain will exit the European Union later on this week when their referendum vote comes up and is actually voted upon. Stocks in terms of the Standard & Poor's, and let's go ahead and pull that up, that was up about three quarters of a percent to close at 2074 25. So there's no doubt we did see a relief rally in the Standard & Poor's, a relief rally in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Standard & Poor's closing up about eight tenths of a percent on the day. However, when you look at the uh, net change in terms of the Dow Jones Industrial, closing up, up about 0.73, and both of them touching elusive numbers, record numbers, not historically contract highs or record highs, but you have 18,000 in the Dow, and you can see that it did flirt with that particular price point. When we go back to the S&Ps, we did flirt with about a 2,192, so not nearly 2,100, and that's that correlation between the 18,000. And so we haven't seen the S&P fare as well as the Dow Jones Industrial Average. However, we did see it move up, and it appears as though it is closing just at the 50-day moving average. Now, whereas I expected some continuation or downside pressure in equities today, and we certainly didn't see that quite the opposite, in fact, I was also looking for uh, the dollar to come under pressure. That, in fact, has unfolded in that way, off about a half a percent, 93.67. We are looking at a weekly chart of the dollar index, and in terms of key support levels, we talked about 93. That's the first key support level. You can see that with this open here and this close here on a weekly candle, of course, that also matches up with a prior bottom that occurred, what, April and May of last year. If it does manage to break below that, the next real level has got to be around 92 to 92.30, and it's based upon this 38% retracement from the move of the dollar index at just above 79 to 100 on the dollar index. Now, of course, of real interest to us is how the euro is trading, and especially when we couple that against the dollar. Here's the uh, dollar chart. This, of course, is a daily candlestick chart. You can see the move that we had today, breaking below 93.80, which to me was a, a fairly critical area, and it could signal lower prices. Now, the euro was up, but did not close anywhere near the highs on the day, closing at 113.09. And traders, lastly, do want to take a look at crude oil. Now, we have been talking about how it's been trading within a channel. I've expanded the channel because this trend has been extended to now where the channel represents a 44 cycle, in this case, a day, so 44 days of trading, we can clearly see our upward level resistance, our support line here, our midline here. We talked about the fact that in essence, what we have seen is in this bullish environment, it trading and tracking in essence from the top to the bottom of the channel. We certainly got a break just last week as we spoke about, but we also found some real support where we thought we might, which was roughly 46, and it does break back within this channel again, this bullish channel, and so what's going to really be important is whether or not it can sustain these price points and look at this lower level cascading channel line as a new support level. Crude oil closing up about two and a half percent, a dollar seventeen higher per barrel to close above forty nine dollars at forty nine fifteen. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye bye.